I think everyone wants to be an astronaut at some point when they're young. The problem with us is that we never stop wanting to be an astronaut. This mission was put together to try and answer this question about methane. People believe they observed methane in the atmosphere of Mars. Now, methane is a really interesting gas because it really shouldn't be there. The instrument uh, on the orbiter is called NOMAD. It actually consists of three spectrometers. Spectrometers essentially look at the light from the sun, measure the wavelengths. NOMAD will look at the sunlight through the Mars atmosphere. By looking at the colors that are absorbed, we can figure out what gases present in the atmosphere. So methane is obviously one of these gases. It has a very specific absorption band, so a very specific color will be missing. Uh, the ExoMars mission as a whole consists of two parts. The first is this 2016 orbiter, which is, looks at the atmosphere from orbit, sends a lander to the surface to prove that we can get to the surface of Mars successfully. Once we've shown that, the second part of the mission is to land a rover on Mars. The rover mission, fundamentally our science objective is to look for life, past or present. So the facility that we're in at the moment we call the Mars Yard. Because the signal delay to Mars can be such a long time, we need to make our rover intelligent enough to be able to drive itself around on Mars. And to be able to do that, we need to be able to test it in a Mars-like environment. If we do find methane on Mars, that is a good indicator that either something geological like volcanic activity or something biological like the breakdown of chemicals by bacteria is going on on Mars. Either of those would be really exciting from a scientific perspective because neither are really things that we expect to find on modern day Mars. The biggest thing about this rover that we've never done before is the drill. So our drill can drill down two metres below the surface. That's a vast difference from just scraping the surface and taking samples from the surface there. And that's exactly where we need to be looking for life. So that would be interesting for scientists, but also it answers that fundamental question for all human beings of are we alone in the universe? <laughs>